How are you doing, lads? The sun is in my eyes. We can't complain about the sun here in Ireland. We're here today in a day around County Limerick with Samco, Sam Shine, um, Case, Canaveraland, Red Rock. Um, I think there, there's, there's a good few more makes in the in the equation as well. Um, as you can see, look out for a lineup with Case tractors. That's a serious lineup with Case tractors, both new and second hand. You'll see, look, we line up with second hand stuff here. Um, there's a nice four down the yard. We're going to give a look at that. And of course, Samco. Samco started off roughly around 1997, I think you told me before. And um, they started off making, you might be aware of them, the, the maze drill. Um, I suppose for those of you that don't know, it's a drill that it lays out. Um, I suppose it'll set the seed first. It prepares the ground. You have to, you have to rotate the ground first. Then the seed drill will prepare the ground again. It'll set the seed and it'll put a layer of film. Um, what they actually call it is, I forget what they what they call it. It's they have, they have a name for it, mulch. That's what they call it. It's a layer of very very thin film. It's biodegradable film. It lays it out on top and it works more or less like a greenhouse or a glass house. That's a picture of it there. Hopefully, that's a rough picture of it. And. Um, if you want to see our work, Samco has a, a Facebook page there, the whole lot, and um, they have stuff on the Facebook page of setting and harvesting. They have stuff all over the world. They have some very, very interesting machines they make here in Adair, County Limerick, that you'll probably never see in Ireland. There's stuff for setting, kind of pumpkin seeds, and there's stuff. There's a one machine inside, and it, it lays out the plastic, and it punches holes in the plastic, and then you come along after, and you plant down through the holes, you know, for... I suppose, whatever you want to call it, you know, replanting after maybe getting a start in a greenhouse or a glass house. But yeah, this is it. This is the lineup of tractors, new and second hand. There's Samco land levers and front weights and Red Rock shear grabs and a couple more stuff over that way. And there's more stuff this way. So we're going to give you a quick walk around the place. And if you haven't already, give a like and give a subscribe, please. And if you see anything here, contact um, Joe Madigan, is the sales rep here on Adair. And Fleur McCarthy is the sales rep in Tralee. Yes, of course, Samco, I should have said that. They also have um, a place there in Tralee, um, just in Drum Tacker, kind of out the Listowel Road. So they're well set up, case dealers, the whole lot. So if you send anything here, contact either of the boys or contact them here on Adair and uh, they look after you. Let's turn the camera and give a look at what they have. All right, guys, here we are. Um, this is the building. These are the lineup of tractors. We're going to we'll quick walk down through the new stuff first. You can see all this 130s, 120s that are 115 with a loader, loader ready, a 150, a 260 Puma. Just to name a few. What else is below that? There's a 165 Puma, another 165 Puma. Look, these are smashing tractors. Um, Drover Case. Um, Kind of, we'll say, over a very old gearbox there last year for a while. That's a big tractor, lads. And um, what an absolute tractor to drive. Um, same as that, same gear stick as what's in that. Um, we have a couple more yokes here. Are these second hand? They are, I'd say. Nice second hand 165. Puma again, of course, the, the tractor of choice for um, the silage contractor pulling the balers here in Ireland. Another you know, 165. New tractors again. Lads, there's some lineup of tractors here. Absolutely fantastic. 150, 150, 150. And we have, what's this? A 4355 Massey Ferguson. Obviously traded in. Absolutely brilliant. And um, today is Sunday, so we can't go into that shed. But that shed there for you that don't know it, that's the shed where the film, where Samco makes the, the film for... Um, for covering the maze and covering whatever you want to see and that's some of the stuff down the yard we're going to go down and give a look at that there in a minute and give a look at some of the samco stuff and um we have a couple of more yokes over here let's just walk away over look a couple of brand new mcconnell hedge cutters three of them there for you cleverland again cleverland samco is the agent for cleverland with the cleverland plot it could be cleverland um power harrows inside with crumble rolls in the back of it we go Two three one one six five. Couple more yokes back here. Nice one forty. Twelve ky one forty. Look at this, all box ready to go. This is stuff ready to go. Thirteen sixty John Deere Moore on the back, 
a um, couple of Samco Cedars, a uh, 6280 Massey Ferguson, um, an older version of a hitch cutter, and a 165. A um, couple of second-hand spreaders here out the back. Like I said, the John Deere Moore. A uh, Lily, um, Lily Silage Rake, HIB, a uh, 725 CD, whatever that is. A um, couple of spreaders, a couple of bits and pieces. A um, couple of second-hand Red Rock agitators. A couple more things like that around the place. All right, guys, we're here. All this stuff is for sale. And if you want to see anything here, contact Joe Madigan in Adair or Floor McCarthy in Tralee. Again, nice little Renault, C-E-R-E, serious. Um, what is she? She's a 95kk. She just had a pallet fox on it. Look, a couple of second-hand spreaders, brand-new case loader, brand-new Red Rock agitator, brand-new Canaveraland spreader. A um, couple of second-hand mowers there. Um, what makes it? I don't know what makes there. That's a lily. The first one is a lily. Is the second one a Malone? I nearly say that one is a Malone. Uh, M O R R A Mora is it a Massey Ferguson or whatever that is. And what's the inside one? The inside one looks to be a Caneverland. A brand new Red Rock um, agitator. A brand new Caneverland. Oh, she's a butterfly setup. Yeah, she's a complete butterfly setup. You have the two back moors, you have the front moor down the ground inside. A couple of tub feeders. The Caneverland baler. Saw one of them working uh, once. Um, it's a constant flow baler. You actually don't stop. There's a, there's a kind of a second chamber inside in it that when it's making the bale, it'll tell you what speed to go and you pick your speed and you wa work away at that speed, that constant speed and it'll it'll kind of make up its own mind on the the heaviness of the, the amount of your crop and it'll take in the bale and it'll just you just keep going. It's a constant flow baler. It'll store X amount of grass inside in another chamber. So you just you just keep moving. Um another Caneverland baler. This is the same thing again. I, as far as I know this is a constant flow baler as well. Um Caneverland of course a serious operation as well and Sam Code dealers for them. Red Rock Tanker Caneverland uh side of Drake um we're very very clean fresh here um Case Puma 165, and we have two New Hollands, a 95L, and the other one is 04L. What's that? That's a TS135. I don't know what the other one is. And we have um, McConnell, Hedge Cutters, Cleaver and Moors, and a couple of more um, spreaders, and of course, your dribble bar behind. Let's give a quick walk down the back and we'll give a quick look at the Samco stuff. That's some line up there, that's, that's only half what's here. All right guys, this is the Samco Cedar I was telling you about, um, the maize Cedar, okay? Um, this is it, she comes along, we we'll said there's a roller here, there's a couple of discs underneath for preparing the ground, and then she comes back along, she drops the seed down, now there's obviously bits not on this, but then the plastic comes onto the back of it and it covers it along. Now it obviously doesn't go like that, but it folds up very neatly like this up behind the tractor. Um, now in front of the tractor as well, you will have you'll have the a tank, and the tank is actually full of uh, pesticide, and it will kill off any. Any seeds, any grass, anything like that that's going to come up and try and beat the plant. Because Ireland is not a very, we don't have a warm climate. So we have a short summer if we can get a summer. But um, all this is designed and built here in Adair County Limerick. And this is the tank. A tank now very similar to this. Possibly even that tank would go in front of the tractor. You can see here, look, there's yards of tanks and different stuff down the yard. So, so stuff that was traded in, second-hand stuff. So if you're in the, in the market for a second-hand two-row maize cedar, here it is. The plastic goes in here and in over there, and they cover it, and that's your line of plastic. And, uh, yeah, that's that's kind of it. And also over here in the yard, we have um, the Samco Silas Fork. He's also making that. And there is a Samco uh, Stone Fork. The whole lot, hopefully we might see that over in the yard as well in a minute. Here's some more of them here, look, they're all just lined up there, look, all lined up, ready to go. You can see it, not so much in that one, but this one, 
We said that's where the plastic will go and it opens out. That's a one, two, three. That's a four row, as far as I know. So, fair play to them. It, this, these are all built here in Adair in County Limerick. Uh, I think Sam Sainz told me before that um, something like 20% of their sales um, was machinery and the rest of it was the film that went with these. Now, that was before they took on the case dealership, so things possibly have changed since then. All right, guys, look, a single row planter. Are you in the market for a single row planter for maybe uh, planting whatever, planting carrots, planting sugar beets, planting um, uh, pumpkins for next Halloween? Actually, that's something I'm thinking about doing, going planting pumpkins. Um, another cedar. These are all second-hand cedars that were traded in and just new ones bought. So they're all here for you. If you're in the market for any of them, give them a ring here on a day or come to Limerick and they will sort you out straight away. Brand new. Um, thanks for the fertilizer and for the, for the, what do I call it, for the... The spray to kill off the weeds. Oh, brand new tires for the back of it. More stuff here. A couple of second-hand class rakes inside. If you know of anyone who's looking for parts of a couple of second-hand class rakes. Okay, guys, we're here inside one of the sheds where the sun isn't blinding us so we can get a better look. This is the Samco, I think it's called the Soilmaster um, Land Leveler. I think they come in different sizes. And there's an 8, a 10, I think there's a 14 foot. I'm not too sure, but if you want to inquire about it, um, you can get them in the back here. You can get kind of with a dozer blade in the back, or you can get that. That's all on hydraulic rams. Kind of a stone fork to catch all the stones. Hydraulic front link. These are seriously well well built machine and for easy movement around the yard you have um two places there for lifting with your forklift also here we have i think they it's kind of what i would call it a pen buster but it's the i think they call it a field lift um again it's kind of like a pen buster you pull it after the tractor you can get them with different legs this is a three leg one i think there's a five leg one as well they're all on kind of suspension, we call it, uh, with this thing. There's a bit of give in them. They'll pump them up and down. Um, if they hit a stone, they'll rise up out of the ground. And they're, they're all swing independently right and left as well. Um, again, a couple of more brand new McConnell uh, hedge cutters and Caneverland, whatever they are. I don't know. And we have a Caneverland... Um, cedar here as well obviously traded in against um a samco cedar i presume and we'll give another look here at the back of the this is just the back of the the samco land lever or the field is it a field master they call it um yeah i think it's a field master they call it and here again you have this is the a different kind of a drilled in again she's look first she's setting three different types of seed or three different Drills, I'm not exactly too sure what is setting. I'd say that is, I know I've seen that seed before, but I don't know. Maybe you can tell me in the comments what you think it is. All right, guys, we're out of the, the shed. This is the Samco Silage Fark. Again, brilliant, well, first well manufactured. Uh, pins here to stop it folding down, going along the road. Um, comes various different the colours you can have you can get some cold paint or whatever kind of colour you want. But um there's bushings here, the bushings here. I know nothing about it now, but fellas are telling me because of this and this that they're absolutely supposed to be a fantastic silage fork altogether. And they're okay, they're heavy, they're strong, they're well worth they're well worth the money that they're making. So again, if you want one of them for the coming silage season give Samco here a ring and a dare on to the right here's some more of the Samco stuff um, I saw this is it, I forget what they call these these are the disc harrows kind of job but Samco's is the frames and then inside I think these are all Caneverland discs um, 
So Samco is now Cleveland dealer, but Sam and the whole lot of them have a long line. They have a long history with um with Cleveland since they started making these. I don't know how long they're making them. I'd say they're making them maybe 10, 12, 13 years. Um, they're not making them since they started, but they are making them with a good substantial amount of time now. And looking, you see the big crumbler roller on the back. I presume you can get it with or without that attached. And um, maybe you can get it with a cedar, whatever you want. They're there. These are, again, a fantastic machine. You can adjust that in the back, on or off. And here's a bigger one. I didn't see that one. A second-hand one. See the way it folds up? Absolutely fantastic. You know, look. They're there for you. They are here. They're just, like I said, give them a ring. Alright guys, some of the stuff here, case weights, red rock, um, shear grabs, this is your Samco Sile Master, Samco Silage Fork, we have a SHE, uh, our Shearman Silage, I suppose, pike or bale grab, whatever you want to call it, she has the oaks there for kitchen, the plastic off the round bales, she has four of them, and with the Samco Silage Fork, red rocks, the whole lot. It is all here for you guys in the Dare County Limerick. So we're going to give a quick walk up there and we'll give a look at the stuff going out the gate now next. Alright guys, here we have Viking. Is it a Viking? Are they Viking spreaders? Yeah, it is Viking. I knew it was Viking. Viking spreaders, Caneverland tethers, and of course the bulletproof. To me anyway, bulletproof red rock trailer and with the red rock tankers, the whole lot, um heap of red rock tankers and with the man himself coming in the gate and um yeah that's kind of it. We'll go back down the yard and we'll give a look at the stuff what is down the yard. Alright guys, that's it. Here's your lineup of cases, uh New Holland, Red Rocks. Neverlands, new and second hand, uh, all the Samco products, the whole lot. Again, thanks to Sam, thanks to the boys here in Adair County Limerick. And uh, give me a look, give a look at the. I also did a video of they have in Tralee, I'll tag that below in the, in the first comments. And um, yeah, give me a call if there's anything you want, and give it a like, give it a subscribe. Alright, guys, I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers, guys, thank you. Bye now.